Have you ever wondered how cars run before the era of computers and high-tech systems? In this video, we'll explore how older cars operated without an engine control unit ECU, the computer that controls many aspects of modern car engines, instead of relying on sensors and electronics. These vehicles used simple mechanical systems to manage fuel, ignition and emissions. Let's take a closer look at how these cars worked and what made them tick. Before the ECU, cars used mechanical systems to control things like fuel delivery, ignition timing and even emissions. Today modern cars rely on an ECU, a small computer that makes adjustments based on sensors in real time. But what did cars do before that? Let's break it down. One of the biggest differences between older cars and today's cars is how fuel is delivered. Before the ECU, cars used carburetors. The carburetor was a mechanical device that mixed air and fuel before it went into the engine. The mixture would be adjusted manually or through mechanical systems. The ignition system in older cars was also controlled mechanically. Instead of an ECU managing ignition timing, the system used a mechanical distributor. This would send electricity to the spark plugs at the right time. Unlike today's vehicles which use sensors like oxygen sensors, MAF mass airflow sensors and NOx sensors, older cars didn't have electronic sensors to monitor performance. Everything was manually adjusted if the car ran poorly, mechanics would tweak settings until it worked better. Without an ECU, older cars didn't have the advanced emissions control systems we rely on today. There were no oxygen sensors or catalytic converters. As a result, these cars were less fuel efficient and produced more pollution. While cars without ECU might seem like a step backward, they paved the way for today's modern systems. Though less efficient, these older systems had their charm and in the hands of a skilled mechanic they could run for years. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this dive into automotive history, don't forget to like and subscribe.